welcome to another wonderful week. Yes. What the? F- How many start you pull out your phone? To this day. That's not professional. I know. You, do we have to start over? No, yeah, we probably should. All right. You just gonna scroll too? Yeah. Let's try again. <sighs> Man, you started off there. Fuck that shit. Yo, yeah. Is the cameraman playing his phone? He watching porn. Uh-huh. The kind of shit? <laughs> what? The Bucks is up 23? Yo, this is some unprofessional that mean, shit. That means the six is just in shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fucking Kawhi shot all his good shots yeah. in the last series. Ben Simmons can't, Ben Simmons ain't got a jump shot to this day. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we want to welcome everybody to the new installment of the So One Professional Show. This is your one and only host, Mr. Bo- <laughs> I don't know who the fuck this is sitting here, and we're ready to start the show. I just showed up. All right, hold on, fuck. That's messing with my daughter. She's a girl. Y'all are boys, okay? If y'all bully my daughter, if you look at her the wrong way, if you breathe the wrong way, see your mom, sisters, aunts, anybody over 18, I'll fuck them all up. Do you understand? Damn! Leave my daughter. The teacher right there, dude. I'm not gonna say it again. If I have to go to every class, I'll do that. And I'm letting you know right now, any mom, any sister can catch these hands, okay? That's Period. Right Period. I don't really how long. I, I mean, no messages online, don't post nothing about her, none of that. A day in Pittsburgh? Ass whoopings. for free. Like they from like Pittsburgh or something. Where they from? I'm not sure. But she said she was giving out ass whoopings for free. I think for all free. That, I think all that shit is cat, bro. <laughs> Mom dudes get right out there and get a whole ass beat. <laughs> In front of her daughter. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> she was a little small. Yo, you cripple kids when you do shit like that. Because, like, yeah, you gonna come into school and fight kids every time somebody. No, she said, she said, get your parents. So I could fight. But no, but then so. first she said, y'all, y'all could catch these hands if y'all mess with my daughter. And I'm just thinking, like, how does that help your daughter? So you gonna keep beating kid people kids up? They gonna keep fucking your daughter up every day. <laughs> like when, when does it? Well, stop? I think the purpose for was them for them to stop. But that maybe wouldn't have made me stop. Maybe they were so intimidated by the mad black woman that they would never. That wouldn't have made it. me stop. I would have laughed while she was doing our tough spiel. I would have laughed. And I probably he would have been like till this day. <laughs> till this day, and I probably <laughs> smack the shit out of her daughter. After she leaves, <laughs> that's back. not funny. What? Like smack? You're not the supposed to smack head. women I'm or girls. In the back of the head, like you're playing. Oh, just a little. All right. Oh, that's tell a... your mother that, bitch. <laughs> that's not politically correct. I know. I'm not politically correct. Whatever that goes. I can't co-sign that. Gus, I, never mind. I would never smack a female in the back of the head. That would be wrong. You lucky you don't know no lightning come through this fucking building, boy. Yeah, anyway, I would have smacked in the back of the head. Get your, get your mother, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny, man. No, I'm just saying, like, I would have really, well, just me, without being an asshole in high school, like, I would have antagonized that situation. Like, I would have, like, snatched her book bag and left her a note, like, tell your mother, bitch. You know what I mean? I just would have did a lot of shit. Just because your mom came up here with that extra tough shit. Oh, like, that bravado. You know huh? what I mean? Probably like, 
wearing a locker and stole some shit. Tell your mother, <laughs> bitch. You know, I, mean? I, I just, I just would have kept fucking with her, bro. I would have, I would have did it. Like tripped her while she was walking up the hall. Who did that? Your mother, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I know that I know that's not right. I know that's not right. <sighs> I'm sorry. Flat four hundreds to be very careful with doing too much early on that foot. Look, look, get it. She get it. had him of Mississippi State given by no, everything they can handle. Infinite Tucker also of Anim is there, but now Grant takes the lead over hurdle number nine. It's Grant and Tucker. One, two, A and M. They both threw the tenth hurdle without a problem. It's gonna be Tucker! <laughs> He dives for the tape. He was second Yo, last year. He wasn't about to swan leave it on the dive. track. And yeah, he gotta get a man credit. No, 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 he really won. Did he win? Did he? He won. Okay. It what? worked. What? Is he gonna be able to race the other races? I mean, I don't think he hurt himself. And it's like a full day event. You just gonna swan dive and scrape your knee and face <laughs> up? You would be impressed by the I'm fact not that impressed by goofy shit. That's what's wrong with you. Don't think for me. I don't like that stupid shit. I like shit like kids fighting in the daycare with gloves on. What? Remember they had that shit? I remember it. Yeah, the kids. But that's was, the stuff you want to see. It was like a fight night. The kids had on like the, the uh, Incredible Hulk glove, and they was like, "This is." <laughs> <laughs> like, that's hilarious. That stupid shit, this motherfucker died. I know, that was, I thought you would think it was a good move. You know, his opponent was coming up on the side. He just did what he had to do. Cavortian. Yeah. <laughs> Cavortian, oh my God. All right, bro. We got another story. What we got? This is from oh, our lovely home of Philadelphia. What happened? A, a five-year-old male student was acting out of character and had visible bulge in his pants pocket. That's kind of weird. He was asked by a teacher's aide to remove what the aide initially believed was a large toy. But police say that when the boy removed a clear plastic baggie containing, two 20, containing 22 purple Ziploc bags of crack cocaine. Yo, <laughs> little man was getting it. <laughs> Yo. Need the, he had the pack on him in class. He definitely had the bag on him. Ace Boogie. I got the bag on me. Why do we have so many, we have so many segments where kids, it's kids and crap. Bringing drugs to school. I mean, that's why you need Kevorkian. This is why Kevorkian did all of us a great service. Because parents that believe that they kid could just like bring crack to school, they might as well get euthanized. The parents? Yeah. You ain't paying attention to him anyway. <laughs> you put him on the bus, you got him dressed this morning and you didn't know he just, <laughs> See the he 22 just had bags a whole of <laughs> ounce of crack bagged up in his drawers and you ain't see it. The question is, do you think it's the first time he went to school with the crack? Like, has he been selling crack to the teachers? Like he, good, just, he just want to give one the teachers a short so that's <laughs> they a good, snitched on him. That's a good question, man. You never know. <laughs> the aide was trying to shake him down. He's like, I fuck just, that. I just want to know how did he leave out of the house with that pack on him? And you know I belong to, like, the mom boyfriend or something. How did the mom boyfriend wake up in the morning like, damn, yo, I'm about to go hit the block. Yo. <laughs> Where my fucking pack at? <laughs> Glow man school. Y'all got two for five, so niggas got garbage <laughs> up the way. Come on, man. Uh, that's, yeah. some, that's some terrible parenting. Yeah, you gotta euthanize the parents, man. Just get them out of here. They ain't taking up space. Or you could have aborted the kid and then what? you don't have to deal with none of that. Well. You know what I'm saying? There's no crack in the school. If but there was no still kid, crack. I mean, they didn't go to school. So I might go to jail. For I mean, them. I don't think that's a viable solution to br what? kids bringing crack to school is to kill them. Abort the kids? Yeah. How, if they not around, how they bring your crack to school? I mean, it's a possibility. I'm just saying it's not a good one. We need to train these kids up to be educated, well-off citizens in our community. Okay. Who's going to train them? 
I mean, I'm not going to do it, but somebody need to do it. All right, then. So I got my own. That's what I'm worried you're about. You're leaving them to my fucking Fatima and Malik, who let them bring crack to school. That's goofy shit, man. Next segment, man. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. All right, so we here with notoriety, exclusive. Cuisine, nigga. I almost messed go. up. I know. Thanks for coming in. Nope. In the clutch. Mm-mm. You didn't come through? Nah, anyway. How y'all doing today? We're doing good. We're doing Yo, good. Yo, first of all, let's just cut to the chase. Y'all food is good. Thank you. Thank you. Know you know what I'm saying? The little shrimp shits y'all did, that shit was rock <laughs> to this day. <laughs> you know what I mean? After about Thank the 16th you. shrimp, I was like, you know what? I really like these people. Yeah. I, listen, I, I tried to steal the last 30 pieces. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He had you know I, I, I had the plan. Y'all gave me the little bucket thing. Yeah, we I, did. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm about to grab these 30. I'm going to come in the house. I'll be like, yeah, I got dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but then somehow another, they make the it. other joker done invited his high homies. <laughs> and they was gone. Yeah, because we left them on the table. Yep. And yeah, we left there. We left um, some so, of the cheesecake egg rolls. Yeah. First yeah, of all. Yeah. Cheesecake egg roll. I don't talk to me about this. Where did y'all come up with this shit? Like I never thought like I would walk into a Chinese store and be like, yo, <laughs> hey Lee, let me get a cheesecake egg roll. Yeah, it is a little different, but yeah. you know, Charles, tell me about it. Uh you know, um I had my first time having it was at my job. Okay. Uh I can't remember what year it was but i mean we had it at a job and i'm like damn this joint really good as shit mm-hmm. like you know, i mean so you yeah. stole the shit that's what you're so you me. so you out <laughs> so you out here suge knight and niggas recipes and shit. <laughs> you know you put your little spin on it and yeah. it makes it different yeah. you know i just added you know swiper fox yeah. <laughs> you gotta work on the, you gotta work on the lie yeah, <laughs> yeah well, don't tell gotta, the truth you gotta tell you tell that story like this was inspired oh yeah, yeah you know yeah. one day i was at home and I was just thinking, what could I do? That's different. And then I thought I would put <laughs> cheesecake in the egg in the egg roll. Yeah. See, that sounds a lot better. A little different, though. Okay. A little different. Lucy's honest, though. It's a little honest, different. Yeah. A little All different, right. you know. Folded. So, talk to us, man. How do we get off the ground with notoriety exclusive cuisine? Mm-hmm. All right, so originally we started selling platters, um, I think it was like 2016, and uh, it was just Charles Summers platters. And um, we were doing. You put whole government out there? <laughs> yeah, that, that was the that summer was my, Summers. No, that's not my name. Oh. No, I was like, what? Yo, because we don't condone no. rat, even on your set. No, on this no, show. No, no. Live and direct. What? No, I'm sorry. No, yeah. it's cool. Uh, we just named it uh, Summer Platters. Mm-hmm. Um, we was, back then, that's when we was just first starting off. Um, then we decided to partner up with another um, company. They're called uh, Caribbean Me Soul. And then from there, we just ventured off to ourselves, and we just became Nardi Exclusive Cuisine mm-hmm. um, because we wanted to do the catering and we wanted to do cannabis catering too. Mm-hmm. So you know, that's how we ventured uh-huh. off. That's what the exclusive part of the that's name the exclusive is. Exclusive so, part, yeah. the cannabis. Yeah. So yeah. Put, just put on the screen for 2019 the new word for cannabis. Is exclusive. Yes. Yeah. So, all right. So when you go to the store, you be like, "Let me get a dub or some exclusive," <laughs> and they know <laughs> what to give you. No. Exactly. Yeah, bro. You can go get tree out the gas station up on Fifty Seventh and uh, Walnut. You talking about me, rat? That's not rat, and it's fucking legal to sell weed in Pennsylvania, dick. Yeah. You can go get a forty out the gas station or some candy bar candy, dickhead. Yeah, I don't live in Pennsylvania. I, we know this, obviously. <laughs> My bad. Anyway, back to exclusive. But yeah, um, that's how we got into it. Um, originally, you know, we had a mentor who was helping us out a little bit. Um, when we first brought the name to his attention, he was saying, you know, oh, it's so hardcore. People may not get it. And, you know, we get it. People may not get it. But the more we, you know, keep explaining ourselves, telling people who we are, mm-hmm. they get to know us. You know, they know why we chose the name we chose, you know. Yeah. You know, Nardi is you know, when you're known for your bad deed or, you know, fame and all that stuff like mm-hmm. that. But we, you know, here to let people know our fame is our cooking, yeah. you know? That's our exclusive catering. And you're exclusive. Mm-hmm. Right, right, yeah. right. Exclusive yeah. ingredients. Yeah. Yes. Understood. And you got the cuisine. It's so it's exclusive and cuisine. Yeah. Yes. Solid. 
Right, right. And you know, the same thing we make um, when we do any type of regular dish, mm -hmm. we can do it, you know, exclusive as well. Yeah. And it's the same looks, the same taste, everything. I don't want exclusive shrimp, bro. <laughs> we got you. We, we got the you. We got you. We Keep the shrimp you. the same. But, and I don't want, what was the uh, what was the jerk chicken thing y'all had? Oh, the oh, jerk yeah. chicken, the, the bale ones? Yeah, yeah, that shit was rocking too. Bamba claw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put a little mango slaw in there, you know, spice yeah. it up a little bit. Yeah. You know? So, what's your signature dish? Uh, everybody keep asking me that. Yeah, we want to know what are you notorious for, notoriety? Uh, what would you say would be a signature dish? I really don't know. Like, uh, I would say, like, you know, my, my bourbon salmon. I mean, the bourbon I, I salmon guess, is a big hit. That's a big hit. Um, um, we do a bang bang shrimp. Yeah, that's bang, a bang, big shrimp, hit. Bang bang shrimp. What it's the hell is bang bang shrimp? It's similar to the uh, mango habanero, but it's just, just a like different a, sauce. A different sauce. Why is it called bang bang? Cause it's like a sweet spicy sauce, so it's yeah, like a so bang. bang, bang, and then like oh, like like bang and bang. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, it's, it's like, like a different it's like sauce. It's like blue. You know what I mean? No, it's like blue and cream and like <laughs> marble cake. <laughs> <laughs> but the gotcha. bang bang come with a uh, you know a fruit sauce. It got you know, exclusive, and it got exclusive. No, no, no. It, can be exclusive. It, it can be exclusive. I don't want it to be. It can be. Now, do you make mango salsa? Yes. I hate mango sauce. Really? Then why the fuck did you ask him? I just was wondering. Like, yo, you <laughs> so what about a pineapple? Would you try a pineapple sauce? Nah, like sweet sauce just don't. It don't no, do, I like you didn't sauce. have it Can the right way. Can y'all make mambo sauce? You make mambo sauce? What's mambo that? Ah, right, we talk off more. It's like this shit. You can, yeah. you can make it exclusive, and then you could go to. Are you making shit up? No, I'm not. You don't travel. I'm well traveled. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, listen, we talk off now, Mambo Sauce, if you can make that and then go down in like DC with it and make it exclusive, they love you now. Why they got, they got that sauce in DC? Oh, we're going to talk to our guy in DC about it. Yeah, we got a guy in DC. Yeah, we got a guy in DC, he probably know about mm -hmm. it. And anybody up this way that went to school at Howard or one of them schools down there and you frequent in DC, you've had Mambo Sauce or the whole DMV for real, for real. You've had mambo sauce. Mambo sauce is a hit down there. Mm. You bring it up here and put your exclusivity in it, then it'd be like bang and bang. Okay, then it'll be the bang bang. Stuff. Yeah, so when you so then when you make it, just like throw my name in there, like mambo-ish. <laughs> we got you, we got you. You gave us an idea, we got you. Man, we'll give it to you. <laughs> that nigga steal the fucking uh, yeah. cheesecake egg roll from his job. First of all, he didn't steal. It was inspired by. Yes, inspired. Inspired. So inspired. 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 He cooks it every day. Not every day, but to this day. <laughs> to this day, right? Yeah. right. <laughs> but yeah, you know, we make different type of dishes. Uh, we just trying to uh, let people know what all we could offer. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes oh, people like do that, platters. I'm sorry to cut you off, but no, we like cool. that jerk chicken uh, in a bun. I made it for this party, right? I made it in the, in the egg oh, roll. Oh yeah, at our um, paint with a yes. Swiss party. And we had it in the egg roll. Yeah. I just wanted it straight drop. Like, well, yeah, because I remember oh. you was like, can I just get the meat? I don't want the bun, I just want the meat. Whoa, 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 no, whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, 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 <laughs> the jerk chicken. No, no, the jerk no. Jerk chicken without the bun. That nigga ain't want no buns. That nigga wanted all meat. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that, no homo. Right? I was like, yo, you got any more of this chicken in the pot? They was That's like, exactly yeah. what he said. That's Thank exactly you. what he said. Thank you. I ain't going there. I, I ain't, will call I you want one no there. buns. I want <laughs> all meat. That's what he said. <laughs> oh man, y'all know hey, me. Man. I know what you meant. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes we sell platters. Um, we just <laughs> we do the platters just to give people a different feel, different um, items that we can offer. Mm -hmm. um, we don't always do them frequently. We may do them like once a month or something like that, and mm -hmm. it's always something different every time. So okay, and so is the so what's the like goal for you guys? Y'all guys looking to get like a storefront, or do y'all want me like? Jerk Chicken Man and Black Box, where y'all just pull up for a day in like a certain area and then serve out and then serve the line, or 
Like, what's the what's the game plan? Um, well, the game plan is actually to get to a point where we can have a space. So that mm -hmm. way we have the space plus the catering. So we're giving you all around service. You're getting mm -hmm. the event planning plus the catering. You know, we already have the venue. It's a one-stop shop. Okay. And it can be able to cook, you know, live for you just in case you, know, you want live cooking. Mm -hmm. so, you know, you get everything in one. Yeah. And so how's business been? <laughs> Business has been going yeah, good. Year, we, yeah, we, yeah, we've been, going we've been um, having like little parties and stuff to promote ourselves. So um, that's been like a really hit. Uh, and each time we do a party, we do do different food every time. That way people get a chance to try different things. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we're trying to put together like a Father's Day event so mm -hmm. um, people can um, acknowledge the, fa the fathers. Yeah, more, acknowledge so. us. Yeah, because y'all deserve it. We do. Well, we deserve it. Well deserved. So we, you know, trying to put together an event for that. It's going to be like a sit down, you know, entree, not dessert. It's no not exclusive. No, not exclusive. I might show up there. It's no, not exclusive. Yeah. We wanted to be a situation like all dads coming together, well, you enjoying know, ourselves. Real dads need exclusive because <laughs> after a long day, yeah, you might need some, yeah, you might need some exclusive. True. Maybe we might do like a signature drink or something like that. Yeah, exclusive. Yeah. yeah, we got you, we got you. Jack Daniels would be like exclusive Jack oh, Daniels. Crazy, I was yeah, he was saying that too. Yeah, see? <laughs> he's trying, he's like, you know, that's a girly drink. You need to do more of a guy drink it's yep. for dad. So, yep. you know. See, I'll be having the ideas, man. I'll be knowing. Yeah, put you in on that brainstorm. Nah, man, just just jack my ideas and then just give me a shout out in the on the uh, menu. Got like you. Like inspired by Got my fish. You. you know what I mean? Or Got like you. The, the exclusive drink car. You like try to get in the culinary world too. <laughs> huh? You try to get in the culinary world too. Listen, man, I'm well traveled. I'm a worldly man. Yeah, you did say it when it was at the party. Mm -hmm. oh, just because he said it don't mean that shit. Too, right? <laughs> You say a lot of shit. Yeah, that's a lot of shit to be learned about. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The only liar on on this side of the camera is Gus. Oh, okay. We gotta watch out for him. Yeah, on, Gus tried to tell you he he's had so those quiet socks. though. That those because he he's looking for a new lie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I that's like, not true. I speak the truth speak every time I step in the booth. Boom. The person who said that be lying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. And so, uh, so how long y'all been at this? Doing the actual exclusive part, we've been doing the exclusive for maybe about a year, year and a half. Okay. But yeah. in total, just doing the catering and just cooking and oh, stuff. Exclusive two years. Exclusive two no, years? Did the party for my mom. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh, you mom slipped was something exclusive for right. mom? Yeah, I don't right. think he slipped it. Mom right. was down right. with birthday. Right. Yeah, we did a birthday event for her. We uh, And her, all those older women had some exclusive. Yeah, 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 yeah. he bombed the whole table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's, it's, it's levels to the exclusive. Uh, 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 oh shit! What we can do is um, is different things. Like if you so you can get them like a some like some some Dookie exclusive, and then you can get them some Middies exclusive, some, some, Reg like some, some Reggie, some Reggie exclusive. No, it was a situation where it was like we just slowly just kept creeping it throughout the night, like you know, like the bread with the butter and the drinks and the entree. They didn't really actually realize it until like maybe the dessert. Yeah. Then they was like, they was like, yo, bitch. They were like, yo, bitch. Oh, wow. That's real estate. Baby, I'm hot. It's like, when we realized it, everybody just started laughing because that's when we actually start to like, feel it like, oh, that's what you do when you're high, you laugh and shit. We're like, dang. So y'all slipping people with Mickey's. No, that, it was a good birthday. It was, okay. it, was, it was a nice birthday dinner. It was something different, you know. That's why yeah. the exclusive is, is, is different. If you're looking for something that's, you know, to so make the party. So y'all have meat and the butter. Butter what? for the yeah. bread. Yo. We just we had an event um, around Valentine's Day. It was called Are You My Kryptonite? Yeah, it was yeah, um, yeah. like a Valentine's event. Um, it was four course meal, All happy exclusive. hour, hors d'oeuvres. Yeah. All exclusive except for the water, and it was a good time. Yo, yeah, yo. Time. Yeah, and yeah, and y'all some Bill Cosby ass. Just <laughs> 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 out here, a little bit of hair, a little bit of hair. Shit, crazy. <laughs> but you know, we wanted to make sure everybody was gonna have a good time. So did Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> This shit crazy. Like, yeah, it's, 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 no, they it's, knew about it. They didn't know the about it. No, they didn't know about it. Yeah, the exclusive dinners is um 
anytime we do any type of exclusive event or exclusive dinners, it's always, you know, paperwork involved. We make people sign waivers, everything is secret location, you know, 24 hours before the event. Well, you covering your secret locations? locations? Secret locations. You mm. get the event 24 hours, you get the location 24 hours before the event. And what happens there stays there? Yeah. Is that the part of the non-disclosure? Sure. I yes. mean, after that is whatever. Yeah, we you should put like a light bulb over the top of my head right now on the camera. Like I'm really and like my gears are turning. <laughs> yeah. Singing the stuff. Yeah. Secret locations. Mm -hmm. Non disclosure agreements. Yes. It's a must. Yeah, but his is all bad though. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all y'all are positive. Okay. Where he's going. I'm positive he slipped his mom some exclusive. <laughs> In the Well she knew. No! He said she knew. Mm -mm. He said she they didn't knew know. to a certain extent. No, the only person knew was my dad. See? Everybody else didn't know. See? Well, that was the, the fun part take of it. That, <laughs> that took a minute. That took a minute. That was the fun part of my like, film. I got my wife, but I'll take that one. And that one too. Nah, yeah, he like, oh, she coming back, back to the room all geeked up. Yeah. He, about have, he about to have another <laughs> and another one. <laughs> and that's how DJ Cal said, another one. Yeah. You know what I would do at like an exclusive party, and I was the only one not. You don't have to share with an exclusive. Us. I'm you gonna talk about it. You already a rat. I can't just be talking about them type. <laughs> You try to keep it rated R. You know what I mean? Well, I'm not right. All right, so make sure y'all shout out y'all social media yeah. handles. Y'all, if you got a website, mm -hmm. all your information for the people. All right, guys. If y'all want to get in contact with us, y'all can email us at Nerdy Exclusive Cuisine at gmail dot com. You can mm -hmm. hit us up on Instagram, Nerdy Exclusive Cuisine underscore. Mm -hmm. um, we working on a website, so we're putting the website up, up soon. But you can definitely check out our page. We always have an events. We always have an exclusive cuisines. We always have in just regular catering in general. We're like the best catering company. We give you the exclusive plus the regular all in one package. Check us out. And dads, don't forget, you know, you know, it's June about to come up, Father's Day. You know, come to our event. It will be, you know, budget wise, it'll be, you know, a cost good price. Efficient. Yes, yes. It'll be a good yeah. price, you know. Yeah, you know, not, you know I come out and enjoy. No, no, it won't be exclusive, mm -hmm. so and I can vouch that food yeah. is good. Y'all make sure y'all come out. It's worth yeah. the money, man. Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming. Thanks through. for coming thank out, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. But y'all don't have no problem with Ted Bundy killing 36 bitches. Bro, he killed 36 bitches. He killed 36 women. No, they wasn't all women. It was some young girls too. He's 36 bitches. What, why they got these bitches? Because we bitch, have this nice young lady sitting here. I didn't call her a bitch. But she might not want to hear your profanity. No, she says he's it fine. more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> he's she fine. Really. When I'm, she call homegirls up, she'd be like, yo, bitch, what you doing? Yeah, I do say that. Yeah, I do. See, Gus, you too far removed, man. You gotta get the get Gus off too the long show. Shit. Get me off the show. Man, fuck all I'm glad you cut that fucking cut off. <laughs> that headline was crazy. <laughs> to this day! <laughs> hey, Gus. Fix the back of your jeans, bro. <laughs> that motherfucking <laughs> ankle ashy as shit. You see that motherfucking, that motherfucking Achilles? That motherfucking Yo, Achilles was white as shit. It looked like a fucking glitch. See, look, 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 look. Lotion. Bam! It stopped right there. It stopped right there. Yeah. Yo! Get the lotion. That motherfucker, yo, his fuck, that fucking piece, that little piece of Achilles was white as shit. Look, 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 let's see. Arm like reach right there. Fucking crack rocks sitting on top of this sneaker. Like, what the fuck is that, Gus? At first I thought it was like an animal, you know what I'm saying? Like, did something sneak out the house with him? But then I was like, no, that's his fucking Achilles. Oh my God, y'all are crazy. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get professional, man. <laughs> nah, my, my angles do be ashy as fuck, man. I ain't gonna lie, I can't even remember. Cause that shit don't read, look! Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> to this day! <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
So like we like to thank everybody for tuning in for this episode. Definitely want to thank uh, Notoriety Exclusive Cuisine for coming through, showing love to the guys. Um, they ain't bring no shrimp though. Check us out on all social media platforms. Um, check them out on all social media platforms. Shout out Headquarters Media. Until next episode, peace. Peace.